My guest today is Melanie Carnseal, CEO and co-founder of Customer Underground, an online platform that's dedicated to helping customers share information and businesses engage with their customers online. Welcome to In Her Shoes. Thank you, it's a pleasure to be here. Tell us a little bit about what the business does. Sure, well Customer Underground's mission is to improve the customer experience and that's by helping customers share information with each other and helping customers and businesses engage with each other. And so what that means is we have a website where customers can review businesses and businesses can uh, put out information about themselves. And we also have a mobile app co called Boomvox where customers can leave instant feedback while they're in store. So what sort of um, business tends to be on your site? Is it restaurants or? You know, it's a whole variety because there are already lots of restaurant review sites out there. But what we found was that customers are looking for reviews of everything from carpet cleaners to hairdressers. You know, when I first arrived in Sydney, I literally spent an afternoon walking into every hairdresser in Paddington <laughs> and chatting up the receptionist and seeing whether I thought I could trust them with my hair. And so Customer Underground is about uh, sharing information across a whole range of businesses. So everything from restaurants to carpet cleaners. So you provide, as you said, ways for businesses to engage with their customers. Yes. Are you finding that businesses want to engage and if they do, are they selective about how much or how they engage? You know, I think businesses really do want to engage. Um, I think the challenge that they face is that there are now so many channels for it. There's Twitter, there's Facebook, there's review sites. So I think a lot of smaller businesses tend to feel a little bit overwhelmed by the different options out there. And, but I think overall, almost all businesses from small to large are convinced that they need to have an online presence and need to communicate with their customers. Mm. One of the things that I've found is that sometimes the knowing that your clients can review your service, as a small business, yes. I might feel a little bit afraid that perhaps a competitor is going to go on and say horrible yeah. things about me. Yeah. Do you find that to happen? Well, I think that is a concern of businesses. Um, and we try very hard to make sure that reviews are bona fide. If we ever suspect a review, is um, not. We look into the matter. Uh, but overall, I think the main thing that businesses can do to help manage that is make sure that their loyal customers are reviewing them. So make sure that the people who are their brand advocates actually go online and put the word out there. I know that I've been somewhere and had a great experience and yeah. maybe put something on, on Twitter or on a site like yeah. yours, um, or I've been upset and I've also commented. Yeah. Is there something about the people who are willing to provide businesses with feedback that you found that they have in common? Like, who are we who are willing to be the crowd that speaks up? It is, you know, it is very interesting. And because we are a startup and, you know, haven't had much marketing budget, what we find is we've got our sort of early adopters, if you will. And it's, you know, typically um, we're, you know, we're focused on inner city, but what inner Sydney, but what we do find is that it's often people who are let's say, past their late 20s, so people who tend to be a little bit more discerning. We have quite a few bloggers and people who are already sort of social media savvy on the site. So one of the um, main benefits for a business to um, be willing to be open to reviews, to making sure that they're listed on the right sites, what would you say one of the main benefits is? I think there's a couple of main benefits. One is, having a rep an online reputation because I think that customers more and more are aware that there is word of mouth online so before they try a business they're likely to look up the business so I think it's very important for businesses to have a presence and make sure that their customers are reviewing them online so that other customers have a bit of a a source of information before they go to them. Mm. Right. So this is a relatively new business. Yes. Um, so tell us what are some of the lessons that perhaps other startups could learn from? Sure. Uh, geez, it's you know it's certainly been I think being in a startup it's an intense journey, um, and I think the main thing is to get things out there quickly and get feedback from your customers early. So there's a whole lot of um, writing out there now about the lean startup model, and I think that's really based on quick, constant iteration. So I think unlike in the offline world where I think we tend to get things perfectly polished before we put them in the market, I think the online world, because things move so fast, it's important to get things out there even if it's not you know, your perfect 100% right. version. Get feedback and then change and iterate because as soon as it's in front of customers, 
you basically instantly know what's wrong with it. Well, congratulations on what I think is a terrific business. Oh, thank you. And thank you for joining us. Thank you so much.